Hey YouTube, I'm trying out something new. I'm doing a voiceover with my 1987 Polaris Full Line Snow Machine brochure. This is one of my favorite brochures when we were growing up. We used to pour over this for hours. Um, my buddies and I, we'd argue and stuff in the pictures and just get excited about the machines. The 680 that year, it looked badass. It just, the color scheme, the graphics, really still like it to this day. The Sport Indy, we were so excited about the Sport Indy. We were like, look at how far you can jump. Because we were all riding Springers, TXs, TXCs, TXLs. And this was an Indy that seemed like, oh my gosh, maybe we can get an Indy. Because it was like thirty four, thirty five hundred dollars $3,500 at the time. I, it was still a lot of money back then. But Trail Indy, 488. Uh, pretty sure this was the 488 because I had a four. I had a 440 trail Indy in '84, and yeah, '86 they came out with the 488 as I recall. And this thing was trick. It had a taper tunnel. Never liked the color on it though. The 400 Indy, and the dealer told my buddy, "Look at that! You get one of these, you can jump off your house." And we used to stare at this picture like, "Did he jump off the house?" We're trying to figure it out, and and like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, you know, think of the speed and, and you know, the suspension must be incredible, and and it looked good too. The red with the black. Um, nice machine. The 600. Oh, my one buddy. He ended up getting a 600. Um, he said, there, look at that. See the track? It spun the track through the, across the whole picture. There, you can't, it just spun the whole time. It's got so much power. Um, but yeah, when he ended up getting that 85, oh, it was so heavy. We'd ride it around. Uh, never saw too many of these in my town. Um, neat thing about them, they were direct drive, so they didn't use a chain case. Uh, it's just your dri drive and driven clutch. Uh, pretty simple, lighter weight, but uh, I don't remember too many of them running around. Uh, the Star, this, as I remember, was a 250 single cylinder, um, direct drive as well. Um, we just didn't really pay attention to them because we wanted Indies, and the Springers we had, the um, TXs, TXCs, TXLs, they're better than these anyway, so and didn't pay much attention to them. Long tracks, uh, kind of funny, you know, it's got the long, now everything seems like it's a long track, but, um, uh, it was a work sled, didn't pay any attention to it, um, yeah. Oh, it kind of struck me, looking through this, the people, so this is 87, so they are now, what, 32, almost 33, 33 years older. It's like, of course I am too, so that's just crazy. Um, the accessories. I remember the covers. It seemed like the, maybe I'm thinking of the pipe. The piping on the cover. I think it was the seats, though. The pipe it, it would crack and it would pinch or, I don't know. I just, something that struck me. I always liked the, the color of the lubricants, though. The white, yellow, and blue. So I... Went slower here on the specs. I can read it while I'm editing this in iMovie. And I'm uploading it to YouTube in 1080. And it still seems like the quality just isn't there. I, I don't know. Hopefully you can read it. Um, anyway, I tried. And here's the end. Um, the back of the brochure. I just... Wish they made brochures like this anymore, you know? Go to the dealers now, and it seems like, oh, you go to the website. Well, it's not the same thing. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.